To import audio into Cavalry, you can double click in the assets window and then choose any MP3, AAC, WAV, AFE or CAF file. Once the file is in the assets window, you can drag it into your scene to add a sound layer. Let's play this back. So far so good, but here's where things get interesting. We can use this sound layer to control pretty much any attribute in Cavalry. Let's start by creating a rectangle. And then let's hook up the sounds to the size of the rectangle by dragging a connection from the sounds output to the rectangle size, like so. We'll also increase the strength on the sound layer to boost the effect. And let's play this back. Now let's make something a bit more fun. Let's disconnect the sound from the rectangle and set the rectangle's width to 5 pixels. With the rectangle selected, let's click the duplicator button in the shelf. By default, we'll get a grid of rectangles, but let's turn this into a row by choosing a linear distribution from this drop down. We'll set the mode to step and the size between the bars to 20 pixels. And we'll set the count to 10. Now let's connect the sound layer to the rectangle height. And let's watch this back. Notice how there's no baking and no keyframes. If we want the bars to grow from one end, we can use an align behavior by once again making sure the rectangle is selected and then clicking on the align button in the shelf. I'll set the align Y to 1. This would look better with 30 bars instead of 10. We can connect the active bands from our sound behavior into the count of our duplicator like so. Now let's change the number of frequency bands to 30. You can just type in this number, but you'll see why connecting this is useful shortly. Now look what happens when we play back. To make the sound start later, simply drag the layer in the time editor. To change the endpoint of the sound, you can just drag the end of it, or use the Alt square bracket shortcuts. To mute the volume throughout your scene, use the audio switch in the volume settings bar. You can turn off individual layers with a toggle on their rows in the scene window. There are lots of controls on the sound layer. There's an equalizer where you can click to deactivate particular frequency bands. Notice how the number of bars in the EQ in our viewport updates. That's because of the connection we made a moment ago. You can also control how the frequencies are modeled according to human hearing, logarithmic, or according to something which more closely matches how octaves and scales work, mel or bark. You can also use volume clipping to filter out low volume noise and smoothing frames to soften the results, amongst quite a few other treats. Sound in Cavalry is incredibly powerful and once again, there's no need for baking. Sound import and the sound behavior are both available in the free version of Cavalry. We hope you enjoy this fantastic free feature and I'll see you in the next video.